Oh, hey, I'm Levi. I'm a creative, an explorer, and an adventure seeker at heart. Welcome to Utah! A few years ago, I set out on a mission, and that was to find the most unique, inspiring, and downright amazing one night stays in America. And now I'm taking you along for the ride. This is Tiny BNB. Welcome to the Lux Tiny House. This spot is seriously amazing. A 32 foot long tiny house on wheels. Let's go check this place out. Today we are in Berlin, Ohio, in the heart of the biggest Amish population in the US. If you have not experienced Amish country, it is a seriously cool place to visit. We are about 90 minutes from Columbus and Cleveland at Tiny Stays Berlin. There are two tiny houses you can check out here, the Scandi and the Lux. Today I'm going to be giving you a tour of the Lux, which is this beautiful 32 foot long tiny house on wheels. Legit the biggest tiny house on wheels I have ever seen. Assuming it's 8 feet wide, like every other tiny home on wheels or container home, that would be 256 square feet of living space plus a loft. The butterfly roof is a neat touch to the design as well as the gorgeous exterior design. The two-tone color palette of white and brown wood is very eye-peeling as well as the geometry of it all. This tiny house has a deck that spans across the entire length of it and this hides the fact that it's on wheels which is nice and just add more space to do things since the square footage is limited. Huge bonus. There's a fire pit at the end along with a privacy fence. You may be concerned about how close it is to the other tiny house but we face opposite ways and both have privacy fences honestly feels very private the host did a great job separating two there's even different walking paths to each so you can never bump into the neighbors if you didn't want to now let's walk down the path and up on the deck and walk inside to check out this tiny house the hosts design all of this themselves the layout is like no other and the amenities are superior to anywhere I've been for a tiny house. Starting off, the ceilings are 12 feet high, which makes this feel so much larger. The windows everywhere let in the light, and this helps make the tiny house more spacious feeling. The left side has your kitchen and living area. The kitchen has several cabinets along with a full-size fridge and microwave. You have a stove top as well as plenty of countertop space on this nicely done aluminum looking top. This paired with the blue cabinets and gold accents looks great. Across from this is your dining table area against this huge window, perfect to eat or do work at. They leave some baked goods for you, which is a nice touch. Next to this is a really cool coffee bar area. All the angles and textures are fun with the diagonal board and batten wall and the X-shaped legs for the counter. So cool, if you ask me. They also provide local coffee and everything you would need here. After this is your living room area. It's a pretty unique setup with two sitting chairs at the bottom and a couch on a raised platform. It looks very cool. There's a bookshelf under the platform and storage in the steps. The railing design is spot on with how they did it. The couch up here overlooks your tiny house and may be wondering why it's propped up here like this. Well, hidden in the ceiling is a 90 inch projector that lowers where you can watch anything on your 4K projector. How cool is this? I love seeing how creative people can be with their homes and I think this is so much fun. But this isn't even the best part of the tiny house, I don't think. Let's walk on the other side and check out the bathroom and bedroom. The sliding door opens to your bathroom and oh my goodness, this bathroom is where it's at. This has to be the largest and best bathroom for a tiny house I have seen. In here, there's a giant jacuzzi bathtub with beautiful blue tiling, this mirror, and a waterfall shower head all under the skylight. This is a very cool bathroom setup. You have a towel warmer over here as well, and there's just plenty of space to get ready in here. You can even do your laundry here with your washer dryer combo. This is my favorite bathroom I have seen in a tiny house. So cool.
We can step out of here and walk up these steps with the same cool handrail design and enter into your loft bedroom. This sits above your bathroom and it's a cozy spot. Your bed is perched up here so you can actually lower this guardrail like this and take the built-in step out and hop up in the bed. Up here you'll find your second skylight which lets you sleep under the stars. Can this tiny house get any cooler? You can, of course, close this and all the other windows up here for a total blackout. Lastly, there's a closet up here behind this door if you thought there couldn't be more to fit up here. The attention to detail that was taken with this tiny house is just the next step up. You have all the details around. There's two closets in this tiny house, which most of them don't even have a closet. The bathroom space from all the tiling and the lights everywhere in this mirror. This is stuff that you don't have to add, but you do for the experience of the guest, which I think is why people like to come to these ones. This is one I would highly suggest. And even the handrail design and the fact that the projector is hidden in the ceiling. It's just those small details I think that really matter along your stay. The hosts really wanted this tiny house to be where couples come and really spend some great quality time together and I would agree with them. This is a great spot. Today we're going to be taking a tour of their neighbor, the Scandi. Equally as cool, I think. So let's go check this tiny house out. Today we are taking a tour of the Scandi Tiny House on Wheels. This is called the Scandi because this tiny house has a Scandinavian design to it, which is one of my favorites. This tiny house is a little smaller than the neighbors, so you might like it better or not, but it is unique in its own way and it's honestly just as cool as the last one. When you arrive, you walk down the lit path in the woods here, and this leads all the way to your tiny house. This is your own private path, while the other tiny house has its own private path, so you'll never have to bump into the neighbors, which is very nice. The Scandi has a beautiful look to it with the black and brown color palette, the geometry of all the wood on the outside. It just looks so, so good. The huge windows look gorgeous, and the deck that spans the entire length of the tiny house is a huge bonus and it's a great quality deck. The landscaping here is also very superb, very luxurious feeling at these tiny houses. On this end, you have a couple seating options with an umbrella and a privacy wall. You may be worried about how close these tiny houses are, but the hosts strategically face them opposite of each other and both have a privacy fence. So it feels very private here, which is nice. In between the tiny houses, there's a garden actually, which is a nice touch. Let's walk up on the deck and into the tiny house and check it out for ourselves. Instantly, you'll feel how open and airy it is in here. The owners designed all of this, which they did an incredible job with. The 12 foot ceilings and all the windows seriously adds so much space in here to make it feel even larger than what it actually is. This has a unique layout to it, so I think you guys will really like it. Let's start with the right side here, which is your living space. There's a couch here that can be converted into a sleeper sofa. You can sit here and watch TV, which is located on the wall across the kitchen. It may look far away, but this is a tiny house, so looks can be deceiving. It's not that bad at all. Your kitchen and dining space is next with the gorgeous shiplap everywhere. The kitchen has a cornered shelf here with games and some appliances. Above this is your coffee station with local coffee provided and floating shelves for all of your dishes. There's plenty of cabinet space as well and above is your sink area. The countertop is a fun one here and I think it looks really great compared with everything else in here. Lastly, your refrigerator is at the end tucked away and I like how it's propped up here and it's placed very nicely in here. It's not just a mini fridge kind of sticking out like in some tiny houses actually looks like it's supposed to be here. <laughs>
Behind this is your dining area with two chairs looking out into your property through this huge window. They provide baked goods here for you as well, so you can't go wrong with that. Thank you, Kevin and Liz. These are so good. I don't know if you made them or if they're break and bake, but they are delicious and they're so squishy. This table rounds off to let more space in for the steps, but we'll get to that in a second. The sliding door next to the steps goes into your bathroom. Similar to the last tiny house, this bathroom is underneath your bed space, which allows for a much bigger bathroom area, and who does not like that? And here you'll have a washer dryer combo, then you have your toilet, and then your vanity over here on the right side, it looks and matches everything else in this tiny house. And then of course your walk-in tiled shower, you're not missing a single ounce of space in here. I think it is all very normal sized and I would give this bathroom a 10 out of 10 for being in a tiny house and just the size of this bathroom. We will walk out of that and up to the steps, which the steps have storage in them, which is nice. And now we'll enter into your bedroom loft space. Up here is where you'll be sleeping while visiting this tiny house. Plenty of space, even with a generously sized bed up here. You can lower this railing, which looks incredible. I love how to design the railing in these tiny houses. By unlatching it and folding it down, this feature is so creative as well with the step that unfolds at the bottom to be able to get into the bed easier. Up here, you will have a shelf behind your bed and a skylight up here. You can sleep under the stars up here. The hosts nailed it with this tiny house, I think. Who wouldn't want a skylight for a clear night to be laying here and looking up at the stars? And even if you don't like it, you can close it, which is very nice. Even on a rainy night, here in the rain, pelt on it is nice. Or if you like to get up by the sun, this lets in even more light. It's pretty unique. At the bottom of your bed is a spot for your clothes to hang and a spot for your luggage. So that is it for your tiny house on the inside, but we are not finished yet. The other tiny house had a jacuzzi bathtub. This tiny house has its own outdoor sauna. Just 30 feet from your tiny house along the path we walked to get here is your outdoor space. Here you have a fire pit, a sauna, and an ice bath barrel. The sauna looks really cool among these trees. You just get in, steam up, enjoy your time, and if you want, fill up the ice barrel with cold water and hop in it to cool off. Let me know which of the two tiny houses you liked better, the Lux or the Scandi. I hope you enjoyed these tiny houses.